awaiting orders. All right. At this point, you want to get within range to scan the Thargoid vessel. Basically, you want to sniff its butt while it's sniffing yours. doesn't appear to be pretty tough. Solid outer shells indicate tougher Thargoids. Now that he's distracted doing something else, I'll engage him. Four pips to shields. Two to weapons. Initially, they're not very difficult at all. Full magazine of missiles usually exposes a heart, at which point you target it. Playing with the multi cannons. Shields offline. Once you destroy a heart, you want to boost away. They'll put up their shields. Those will slowly degenerate over time. Do not want to get caught by their lightning, which is what he's trying to do to me when he glows yellow there. It holds you in place like a tractor beam. And damages your subsystems quite substantially.
see, it's not a very nice weapon to be hit with. Shields online. If the target drops off your radar, always remember you have a camera. That camera comes in very handy if you get EMP'd. Wait for the Thargoid shields to be down or almost down before you turn back to face them. Although they do possess the ability to catch my ship, they very rarely exercise it. Typically after destroying the third heart, it will emit an electromagnetic pulse. Be prepared to disengage your flight assist. If you do not, you will lose all of your momentum and be at its mercy. It is only able to do an electromagnetic pulse when its shields are activated. Once they go down, you are safe. Shields online.
shields offline. Caustic missiles are obviously the worst, as they will cause your hull to count down slowly over time. One isn't too bad, two isn't too bad, three or more, very bad. So all the Thargoid's hearts have been destroyed, so now I can damage his hull with either of my weapons. I do want to avoid him while he has his shields up, as he can emit an electromagnetic pulse at any time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you destroy a Thargoid. Came in at a little under 50% hull. I'll have to go back to the station to get that caustic scrubbed off of me. Do not fly through that cloud. It may be tempting to get the nice tasty Thargoid stuff inside, but that will give you caustic to an extent that is horrible. Alright, well, I'm going to return to base. I hope this was informative for everybody. Have yourselves a uh, fantastic time hunting Thargoids. And, uh, did I just solo a Thargoid? Goddamn right I did. <laughs>